Hi everyone, this is the Grooving Chick. Today I'm dehydrating Bing cherries. It's said that cherries are good for gout sufferers, so since my husband being a gout sufferer, these are for him. Now if you're going to use your cherries in pies or cobblers, I do recommend that you parboil them first, but if you're going to just snack on them or use them in jams, all you have to do is cut them in half and take the pits out. Now I don't have a pit remover, so I just used my can opener. I also recommend that you use disposable gloves because the cherries will stain your hands. Cherries take forever to dehydrate. So I set my dehydrator on 160 and I'm going to let my cherries go for about three hours. And then I'm going to turn it down to 135. After that, it's going to take an additional 18 to 24 hours. At that point, I will check them and see if they're as dehydrated as I want. Now when they're dehydrated, they kind of look like a prune or a raisin. They get really uh, dark and uh, um, withered looking but you want to get as much moisture out of your cherries as possible. If not, you can set up uh, bacteria and mold and then all your hard work is going to waste. I will leave a uh, memo down below or on my video exactly how long these cherries took, but as you know, it uh, depends on the size of your cherry plus the humidity in the air. So if you like my videos, please click like. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Until the next time, this is the Grooving Chick out.